depends on the breed of the horse and depends on where it's kept. Horses require a lot of hay and they also here in Panama because we don't have uh, a type of hay called alfalfa, which is really, really protein rich. In the United States, a bale of alfalfa costs 25 bucks. Here you can buy a bale of uh, what we call swathia or um, alicia, which is good for horses. It's particular to horses, but you have to take into account the soil in Panama. It's not very nutrient. So the grasses that it grows are not as high in protein as you know other grain as other uh, hays so you have to um you have to augment that with grain so you'll have to get a good high quality grain a panamanian brand that i use is called eku max azul it's high in protein there's another one called mr1 out of coplé that's high in protein but any of these have to be augmented with either substantial pasture land of a specific type of grass or hay. So average, uh, an average bag of horse food costs 25 to $30. And depending on how much work the horse is doing, you're, you're feeding them up to five to 10 pounds of feed per day. And then also like, a bale of hay that costs four to five dollars every three days. In addition to that, every month, because in Panama we have a lot of parasites, you have to deparasite the horse every month. Shoeing is about twenty to thirty dollars, and you have to do that every four to five weeks. And that also depends on your horse. It depends on where it's stabled. It depends on if its hooves are wet during the wet season. And you know, it just, it all depends on the care and also the breed of the horse. And then if you're boarding, uh, I have some friends who live in Panama City. They have relatives that live here in Santa Fe. So they're the, the grandchildren and, the, and the, the nieces and nephews. And they have their their horses here, their pasofinos or whatever that they use for the cabalgatas. And when they come and visit, because they they spent all their childhood summers here, and they will pay two two to three hundred dollars a month just for an individual to care for the horse, to make sure that the farrier comes every month and does the shoes and does the deworming and feeds the animal and exercises the animal because. They, they have to be exercised regularly. So if you're on site, yeah, you, you're either boarding or you have a lot of land. Um, I have at my Finca dedicated to pasture two, 2.25 hectares of pasture. And it's all segmented into different areas so that we can do rotation. And that supports right now my two mares, um, a yearling, actually my three mares and a yearling. I have a quarter horse, a pasofino, a creole, and then a yearling that's a mix between a quarter horse and a pasofino. Um, but yeah, roughly, I'm gonna add it all up. It's expensive. <laughs>